Hey everybody, welcome back to Meet the Wheelers. I'm Mason. I'm Sarah. And we are hands free. And it's late again and I'm tired. As always. Those of you guys who have been following our journey, you know we like to vlog late at night because we're so busy. We don't see each other during the day. Yeah. Sarah is... Um, sorting. Sorting. One of the things Sarah does... Um, for fun on the side, like a little side hobby, is she is a Sensi consultant. If you don't know what Sensi is, you should. We thought we'd show you. Because actually, I'm gonna go hand out for a second. Because okay. she's got like this really picturesque rainbow assortment of oh, Sensi. Sorting it all, which is fun. Um, and a headache, literally, because it smells. Yeah. So, what? I don't even remember how you started doing this. Um, I went to a Scentsy party. Oh yeah, so like... And I'm do, a candle fan. It's kind of like, um... I almost want to say, like, you know, it's like one of those parties you go to where, I don't even know, there's no guy equivalent. You you talk about it. It's like a, like a Tupperware party kind of thing where you, they show you the stuff and then you're like, mm, this is cool. Yeah. Except, like, we, we've done stuff like that. Uh, but then we're like, oh my gosh, this is really cool. Mm -hmm. You smell really good. That's that one. Oh, ooh, what is it? Is that the one that smells like the watermelon? Yeah. Um, what's it called? Airhead. Watermelon Airhead. <laughs> um, but basically, they're these like little things like this. This one is smaller, but you melt wax in it. And it makes your house smell good. And it makes your house smell good. And maybe I'll show you a picture of some other stuff later. But... I just got an order in, so I'm sorting it. Yeah. So that's why it's all over the floor. She's got to like get them all out for people, but we thought we'd invite you down onto the floor <laughs> with the wheelers again. Um, <clears throat> so, uh, you told me a little bit about how you're feeling today. Why don't you tell everybody how the hormones are affecting you? I'm not grouchy. I don't feel like I've been grouchy for the last two days, which has been refreshing. She totally has not been grouchy. I I'm haven't. just kidding. She hasn't. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm, I'm just been really tired. She but has. Other than that. Yeah. Oh, and our tattoos. You can't see. From it's here. so hard to do this angle with this one because I rotate my wrist. Oh man, I look like stupid. I have dog hair stuck to the aquaphor somewhere. <laughs> um, mm. you better wash it and clean it. I will before I go to bed. Um, we're so happy with the tattoos that we got, guys. Um, and thank you guys so much for all your support and kind words about them. Uh, we love them. We love them and we're so glad we got to share that with you guys because it was really exciting and fun for us and you guys are like our family so it was we were really excited to share it with you guys and um what was i gonna say oh and a bunch of you guys were asking if it hurt um sarah the the late the the tattoo artist who did a fabulous job by the way yes she did she she told us what she tells us it would feel like she said it would feel like a cat scratch on a sunburn which was the perfect description of it yeah, it was not pleasant. Like, you don't go do it for fun. Well, some people do, which is weird. But, like, once... So, like, halfway through the tattoo, I was like, oh, I'm starting to get used to it. And she's like, oh, yeah, that's an endorphin high. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, okay. She's like, yeah, we have people come in here, and they're going to, like, go drinking after, and I have to warn them to be careful because they're going to think they're invincible, and they're not. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> but it was a lot of, a lot of fun. It, I was... Something fun to share with uh, each other, and uh, my tattoo really means a lot to me. Sarah's really means a lot mm -hmm. to her, and um, it's a good reminder. It's a good reminder. Uh, what was I going to say about that? What were we talking about? Uh, how how you were feeling today? You're feeling good, tired, happy, mm -hmm. excited. We're a week away from our transfer day. The fourteenth, Monday, the fourteenth. So. You guys will see the video for that on the 15th, but... <clears throat> Progesterone shot should be starting soon. Well, when's that? I'll probably find out tomorrow. I'll have a doctor appointment tomorrow. Yeah. So. So, yeah, Sarah's going to have a doctor's appointment tomorrow. Go in and see how that's going. Um, I'm excited to inject your butt. No, I'm not excited. <laughs> I still hate needles. Yeah. Mm. Um, what are you say? I say that a lot. What? What is I gonna say? Yeah. You and your mom say that a lot. 
Yeah, I think that's where I get it from my mom. Yeah. Um. We're rambling because it's I'm tired. Because You're it's because it's I'm tired. Because I'm tired. Because yeah. it's I'm I'm tired. Yes. Um. Oh. Sarah's degraded to making funny faces. We have nothing to talk about. Yeah, we do. We do. Mm. Oh, I know what to talk about. What? The Smurf pill. Mm. We have not talked about the Smurf pill we yet. We have not talked about it. And you guys warned me. So the estrogen pill that you stick up in there. Mine's blue. So. Everything's blue, apparently. It's blue. <laughs> I try and avoid the topic in general. Yeah. So we call it the Smurf pill because it's blue. That's all we're gonna go with that. That's all, <laughs> and that's all we got to say about that. I don't like it, but. But oh my gosh, beats the heck out of like some of the other options of. Like, crinone. <laughs> hate it. <laughs> yeah, maybe this is a good time to talk about. But that. crinone was progesterone, not estrogen. But but like let's 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 we've been talking about wanting to talk about crinone and progesterone. Okay. Let's just straight up do that right my now. My opinion, crinone is disgusting. Okay, we got two. Let's let's lay the groundwork. Progesterone, it's needed. It's a part of this yes. process. But there's more than one way. Like, you doctor, doctor. Because those crinone things, what do you even call it? It's inserted vaginally, and it's, it's disgusting. not cool. It's... You go into detail. I'm going to go into detail. <laughs> I'm just I'm going to go into detail. That's nasty. Well, I'm people, people need to know. People honest. need to know. So you stick it in like a tampon, and you, like, shoot it up in there, and it's, it's disgusting. You have to clean it out like every other day, meaning you like just take your finger and you wipe it out. It's literally like cottage cheese. It's so gross. You just feel dirty and nasty all the time. So the progesterone shots, even though they hurt, to me they are so much better. And they're cheaper. Yeah. Oh gosh, cheaper. Like, even before we found out, like, insurance is going to cover the j injections and stuff. Yeah. We, they were already going to be, like, half the cost. Yeah. Half. And, um, and we've, extra we've got, like, $300 worth of crinone just laying on our counter, too, which sucks that we have extra. But we're going to donate it. Does someone else need it? No, it's already bad, they said. No. Yeah, they did. We talked about it. They, they said did? don't use it anyways. No, they said yeah. could, I asked. We'll have to talk to, to talk to him again because I'm pretty sure they said it's been too long. I think it was a loop problem. Anyway, so, crinone, <laughs> progesterone shots. Yeah. Have we talked about that enough? Because I kind of want to say more about why crinone sucks, but I don't want to cross the line. Wait, hey, we're an open book on here. Yeah, so. It's <clears throat> disgusting. <laughs> it's disgusting. And it's, it affects intimacy. Yes, it does. It doesn't just affect it. It completely eradicates it. <laughs> Not a good word. It abolishes it. <laughs> it decimates it. It's gross, guys. It murders intimacy. At least it did for us. So I'm not saying it was it like, like you. I mean, if you just want to not be intimate for like ten weeks, like use crinone. Use, use crinone <laughs> because, like, if that's your goal, use crinone. It's uh. You know, go for it. I mean, honestly, we, we, we tried, but it was like, I mean, neither of us were happy about it. Neither of us were happy about no, it. No, we feel dirty. It was awful. I mean, you want to talk about, like, real stuff that you're not going to find on, like, YouTube and stuff? It was not great. Mm -hmm. um, I'm sure it's an incredibly effective drug, but there's, I've heard progesterone's even better. Progesterone oil. The progesterone and oil. I know, they're not, it's not that they're different. It's. Um, we just like the shots better. And you know, some people the, the might pain. might not like the needles uh, because they're huge needles. Don't get me wrong; they're the biggest needle we've dealt with in IVF, and <clears throat> they're intramuscular in the butt, which is the um, butt cheek. Yeah, the butt cheek. <laughs> well, what else, honey? Well, your aunt, I was explaining them to her, and she thought they went up your butt. Oh my gosh! <laughs> they go in your butt cheek. Yeah, they don't go in your butt. And if you don't hit the muscle. Yeah, you Boy, can actually. Did your butt cheek bleed? Yeah, your butt cheeks bleed. Um, a lot. And we talked about how like you get sore butt muscles. Um, like really sore. 
But you said even like after all of it, all things considered, progesterone and oil injections in your butt. Ding, 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 ding. Yes. Crinone. <laughs> progesterone and oil. <laughs> Crinone. Yeah. Crino. I wish. N. Yeah, Crino. Crino. N. Crino. No. Crino. N. We're rambling. We're rambling, but it's kind of fun. Because we just really want to hammer it home <laughs> that we hate crinone. Yeah. And we love progesterone and oil injections. I don't love them. In comparison. Yeah, in comparison. <laughs> Anyways, I think we've about wasted enough of your time talking yes. about how we hate crinone. crinone. Mm. And love progesterone and oil. We don't love it. Um, Okay, in comparison. You, you don't need to keep correcting me. Okay. Um, sure. But anyways. Okay, so here's the, here's, the, here's the deal. Follow us on Snapchat. Sarah's pretty cute. You should look at her more often. No. Um, I'm not a very good Snapchat. Check out our social links below. Uh, like the video. Share if it's helpful. Uh, subscribe to follow our journey. Uh, we love hanging out with you guys and talking with you guys every day. So uh, comment with your questions, your stories. We want to hear your guys' journeys and how they're going. Uh, and sh share with each other because uh, this is a really great support opportunity. Do you have anything to say? Schmooper? No, I don't. And um, don't forget to smell the roses. Or the shimmer. Shimmer. Does it smell good? It does. Anyways, you guys have a great day, night, whenever you see this. We love you. Bye. See ya. Crinone? No. No. <laughs> Progesterone, Progesterone and oil? <laughs>